Hello folks, this is Jamil Surf for Gunstock Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactic on the Scuffs of Arizona, our favorite indoor facility, with Dave's 870 project. It's done. But before we start, I'd like to ask you to please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel so we may continue to bring you the ch content that you guys really like. Okay, here's what we did. This one is an old Express Magnum 870. It's probably, I don't know, I'm guessing 20 years old or something like that. And it was a 28 inch hunting shotgun with plain wood furniture. That wasn't bad, but it was plain. And so we did a couple of changes to it and we have gone through the changes a couple of times. Originally, we changed the furniture on it considering to um, making it just a hunting gun, but then I decided to make it into a home defense gun. And I had an older barrel at home that we put on it and it worked okay, but we wanted a really good barrel on it. So I got this, a uh, friend of mine gave me this uh, actually hydro dipped Remington brand 18 and a half inch barrel with rifle sights on it. And we put an excess kit on it for the rear sight and the front sight uh, dovetail on it. And the excess, because this is an older gun, it, didn't, it wasn't dovetailed, I mean drill and tapped for it. So we ha Marty had to drill and tap it for it. And then we, we kept the same chote extended tube. We put a Vang safety on it. And what, oh, and of course, we did the Macpool furniture kit on it in tan, so it can go as a nice uh, complement to the Cryptek uh, tan uh, hydro drip on it. And then I found an AAC uh, compensator slash choke that I had kicking around the house. We went ahead and put it in. I haven't never tried this before, so we're gonna try it for the first time. We're gonna shoot some birdshot with it first. And it's a mix and match of birdshot in here. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot a couple of rounds of birdshot, see how it feels. This is full house number seven birdshot. So I'm just gonna shoot, I'm not gonna shoot at a target right now. I'm just gonna shoot it and see how it behaves. So, and of course, this is gonna be awkward for me because this is set for Dave, which is Mr. Sasquatch, and it has every freaking extension that came with it. So this is really long for me, so I'm gonna try it. Wow, it really kicks. And I'm not having a good purchase on it because of the length. Yeah, it's hard for me to mount it because of being so long, but I'm gonna try some buckshot on it. I have some nine pellet buckshot. Uh, this is the really hot stuff, okay? This is, uh, according to the box, this is going 1,325 feet per second. So this one is kind of ugly. So I'm going to shoot a couple of buckshots on it. And let me see how it shoots at this distance and what's going to be the spread on it. I'm going to try to lean into it because being so long is really uncomfortable for me. Dave, why do you have to be so tall? Okay. Wow, right on. You see the shot cup just right underneath the target. I have my front sight on that X and put all nine pellets right there. Let's go ahead and try another round. Oop, I got a racket first. And put this, take the safety off, so. Oh, you gotta close the slide. Geez, I'm got, I got so rattled with the first three shots that I left it without loading it. Again, the shot cup is in the same position as the previous one. I'm going to take a closer look. This one, the shot cup is low and to the left, but, you know, we don't care about that. We care about where all the pellets go. Let's go there and look at the pellets. Okay, my final review on this thing could be like, yeah, we got a really good shotgun um, put together here for home, home defense. About 10 yards, I mean, 9 to 10 yards, is putting all, almost all the pellets in the size of my fist, and this is three rounds. Uh, that's 27 pellets of double odd buck. You can't beat that for home defense. This is gonna, definitely going to do the job. It's going to be a great home defense gun with an 18 and a half inch barrel um, with a night sight on it. 
nice peep in the back. We have the small peep in it, but if we need, needed the bigger uh, peephole on it, we can always call XS and they'll send us one because this one didn't come directly from XS. This came from my friend that gave me the barrel. He gave me the rear sight uh, too. I'm gonna have to give XS a call and get Dave the larger peep, but this one is just perfect. I mean, I can't believe that we put 27 pellets about the size of my fist and it's just working great. Great ammo too, this is the old Remington ammo um, now being made by Vista Outdoors, which is the same company as Federal. They, they picked up where the old Remington left and is, they're making some really, really good ammo. So, like always guys, thanks for watching, remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have some fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.